Hi, I'm Enrico Magli, a professor at the Department of Electronics and Telecommunications of Politecnico di Torino. I am the coordinator of the Master of Science degree program in ICT for Smart Societies, and I'm here to describe what we do and the unique opportunities we offer to our students. ICT for Smart Societies is an innovative degree program launched in 2015, completely taught in English, fully based on an interdisciplinary approach and offering a truly unique learning environment, with about 50% of students coming from all over the world. You'll hear it from me first, and then also from the students themselves. But first, what does the phrase ICT for Smart Societies mean? ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. It encompasses all technologies needed to acquire and process digital information, including data collection, storage and distribution, as well as data analytics and machine learning. ICT are the infrastructure for our connected society. In this degree program, you will learn how to use ICT to make our society even better, a smart society. Our recipe to achieve this is really simple. During the two years of the master degree program, you'll first learn the foundations of ICT methodologies. And then you'll apply these methodologies in five key application domains of smart societies, that is energy, transportations, buildings, health, and environment. For each of these domains, we have a specific course in the study plan, jointly taught by an ICT expert and a domain expert, providing a truly interdisciplinary experience with a lot of practical activities, laboratories and projects, and leveraging the scientific excellence of the lecturers and the research labs. Let's start describing these application domains, which also gives you an idea of the possible jobs after the degree. We're facing an energy transition where traditional power grids are rapidly moving towards smart grids to provide efficient, reliable, secure and high quality energy. This calls for a modern and smart ICT infrastructure to support bidirectional energy and information flow to enable self-healing actions during faults or outages, and to integrate renewable and green energy sources in a seamless manner. Intelligent transport systems play a critical role in smart cities, as we need to reduce traffic jams and pollution. ICT technologies let us collect data, process them, and extract actionable information, which we use to optimize the public transport schedule and the city traffic, also exploiting new transportation means like car, bike and scooter sharing systems. ICT enables a better use of resources in buildings, allowing for a better connection between locally generated renewable energy and the electricity grid, helping cities reduce their carbon emissions. We need to provide a smart control environment for heating, ventilation and air conditioning system to control air temperature and quality and illumination. ICT is also changing the way in which patients and doctors interact to provide medical services. Remote medical analysis can nowadays be performed via telemedicine. New medical devices exploit portable sensors and cheap cameras to acquire information directly at home send them to the doctor or analysis center to continuously monitor health parameters of a patient. Navigation systems such as GPS or Galileo are employed in all modern devices like smartphones and cars. They determine the position of the users and their behavior. With the aid of geographic information systems, this information can be accurately referenced on a map and used to improve our interaction with the environment. Never heard of Google Maps? The ICT methodologies taught in this degree program are those enabling the innovative applications just described. They include machine learning, communications, networking and big data systems, Internet of Things, operational research, programming for IoT and mobile devices, and cybersecurity. At ICT for Smart Societies, the teaching approach involves a lot of hands-on activities where you'll apply the fundamentals to practical problems 
working in teams and projects. Indeed, more than one third of the total amount of teaching hours are spent in laboratory activities. We believe that learning by doing works great for interdisciplinary education. One of these practical activities is indeed remarkable. It is called the interdisciplinary project and it is done throughout the second year. Here, students work together in groups to face real-world problems in one of the five application domains. In doing so, they broaden their knowledge base, improve writing, communication, interpersonal and leadership skills, enhance their creativity, and learn project management methods. You'll hear more on these from the students themselves in just a little while. The program also offers several mobility options. We have a double degree program with Eurocom in France with a data science track. We have a double degree program with NCIL, the University of Limoges in France, on the topic of health. Many of our students exploit the Erasmus program to spend a semester abroad and often do their master thesis abroad in universities or companies. To support and promote foreign exchanges, the second semester of the second year is very light. All these teaching activities train a modern professional profile, the ICT for Smart Societies engineer. This engineer understands all fundamentals of ICT systems, can design and leverage them to extract information, but you'll also possess domain-specific knowledge. These skills will provide you the tools to adapt to the very dynamical and fast-changing world and to innovate it for the better. Post-graduation statistics tell us that our low rates are very happy about the degree program. They obtain a rewarding job very quickly and in that job they exploit to a very high degree the technical skills and methodologies learned during their Master of Science. In the pursuit of innovation, many of them start a doctoral research program in Italy or abroad. To conclude, the highlights of ICT for Smart Societies are the learning by doing teaching style with lots of labs and projects, the interdisciplinary approach and international environment, the small classes with direct interactions with the lecturers, and the scientific excellence of those lecturers, and the very innovative professional profile with a clear attitude towards innovation and research. I encourage you to apply for the Master of Science degree in ICT for Smart Societies. To give you a more fresh and direct perspective, I'll now leave the floor to the past students. In the following two clips, they'll describe examples of what they have done in their interdisciplinary projects and tell you what they did and did not like about the degree program. Listen to them and I hope to see you in Torino as one of our new students. Hi everyone, my name is Rasul. The goal of this project was creating a system to monitor air quality in a school in Torino. I present the data to students and parents of students. First of all, we analyzed interesting results of the service. Time. And finally, we could assemble the sensor and we tried to get the data. In order to involve as much as possible students and parents in the project, we put in our website two different surveys and we tried to reach them asking several times to the principal to make some memos. One last thing to do relating to the hardware part was to connect the NO2 sensor, the MIX2714, to the Raspberry. In order to put our application in Google Play Store, we have created an account in developing mode. Uh, we worked over 250 hours for programming, designing and debugging the project. For what concerns the Gantt chart, we had to choose the pessimistic scenario since schools are still closed and will be closed for an undefined period. We propose an innovative platform to provide a financial buy service for Italian energy companies. After having registered a company, each operator can access a personal dashboard showing its bidding history in terms of offered and demanded daily energy quantities and prices among the three sub-markets. By providing the company production limit, 
the virtual advisor exploits the embedded algorithms and models to provide the best bidding strategy. The main introduced innovation consists on clearing three spot markets at the same time, ensuring the operator market acceptance and providing an optimal resources allocation to increase the revenues. Our project consists in building an application for Bursa Touristic Case in order to improve visitor experience by providing additional contents and information about their position in the cave. One, we will deliver as a final project the complete application development, the test of the infrastructure with Raspberry Pi done at home, and the results of the Ultra Fiber test done in the ATI in January. The point of interest main page automatically appears to visitors nearby an access point or can be reached through the lateral menu. The virtual reality is a tool we offer to visitors. Once you open the tool, you can decide to pan and zoom the image with the touch screen or use the gyro of your smartphone. Our app relies on a customized infrastructure that is composed by a set of Raspberry Pi that create independent wireless networks. Our project, for what concerns both the application and the surrounding infrastructure, represents a unique and pioneer solution in the underground tourism sector. Postea Guides really appreciated our work and would like to actually use it to improve their touristic offering. We will participate to the National Speleology Congress with a paper presenting our work. I chose ICT for Smart Societies because it offered a broad overview of many ICT topics, which is a good way to find out what you like the most. I'm pleased with my choice since it allowed me to test myself applying the several techniques studied during the lectures in the many laboratories and projects proposed by each course. Uh, I chose ICT for Smart Societies because I always uh, was fascinated by Internet of Things applications in real life. I liked very much the fact that being in a small class, it was easy for us to interact with the professors, asking questions during lectures. More working in team with my colleagues, it's very stimulating and uh, it gives the opportunity to develop soft skills uh, like the cooperation, negotiation and the coordination between people. Uh, I like the most about this program is that it's more of a project-oriented program. I got the opportunity to work on different labs and projects in various courses of the program. I didn't like much some of the lectures on the application domains, which I felt were a bit disconnected from the rest of the course. The thing I liked the least uh, was the workload of the second period of the first year because there were too many labs to take care of. Uh, to be honest, I didn't find anything that I don't like about this program, but something that I like the least uh, that there is only two years to learn a lot of things. One day, as I sat in class, I realized that someone had written on my desk major spoiler of the finale of the Breaking Bad series, which I had just started watching, so watch out for that. 